Well, hey, welcome everybody to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Ken Close. Here we are starting August already, August 6th, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and I have an amazing co-host, Jake Barron, Head of Operations, is here with us tonight. Hi, Jake. Hey, Ken. How are you? Good evening, everyone. Howdy, howdy. And our amazing uh, customer service technical support person is Dongni in the chat. Everybody say hello. Hi, Dongni. I know hello, you're Dong. <laughs> not on camera, but hello. <laughs> yeah. um, hey, well, welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about what we do. Um, this is a pretty open forum, but it is a chat-based forum where you guys put your questions in the chat. And then myself, uh, Jake, uh, Dongni, sometimes the audience even, <laughs> we will yeah. uh, unpack those uh, those awesome questions. We will get you some clarity. We will dive deep in some cases, uh, which is always a lot of fun. Um, but what we can't do is we don't uh, talk about anything that has to do with a disorder, a disease. We can't treat or prevent um, anything uh, medically. Uh, we can't really refer you or recommend any programs for any conditions. Um, there are resources for that that we can point you to. But uh, we are pretty much open to all other things, don't you think, Jake? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, let's uh, get this party started, you guys. Um, go ahead and throw some questions, anything you want to know or visit or expand on. Throw it there in the chat, and uh, let's see what we got. Okay. So far, kind of a quiet group, but hey, that's all right. Don't Sometimes be shy. It starts quiet and it ends <laughs> fast. <laughs> it's like it's like what March does here in the Pacific Northwest comes in. No, no, it's the other way around. It comes in like a lion out like a lamb. You know, it's like crazy at one end and calm on the other. Ours yeah. is the opposite. Calm on one end, crazy on the other. Uh huh. That's okay. Okay. Well, while we're oh here here we go. Here comes all the questions. All there right. we go. <laughs> I love it. Dory's asking us about some battery life. So, do you use more or less or the same amount of battery with Bluetooth on? So, um. You know, when your Healy device is on, you've got those little LEDs, right? The blue flashing one, the green flashing one. The majority of the energy consumption that the, the Healy hardware um, utilizes is from the magnetic emissions, um, the microcurrent transmission through the body, because the body is like a big resistor, right? We, we call it in electronics, we call it the load, <laughs> um, but the body is consuming that energy. The LEDs don't take as much energy, um, but to a small degree, it would take a little bit more with the Bluetooth on um, on your Healy running than without it. So um, to a small degree, a little bit more, yeah. Um, let's see. We get a lot of questions around the battery consumption, like, the, the the difference between if you're running microcurrent into the body, like you see the wires connected here or the coil, we get that question sometimes. Um, yeah. It, it is a little, again, it's it's dependent upon the intensity that you have your Healy set at, right? From zero to a hundred percent. But if all is equal, you have say 50% and you're using the uh, electrodes and the wires for the microcurrent and you had 50% and you're using it um, with the coil, it's going to consume a little less battery um, life with the coil versus the microcurrent. The microcurrent does take a little bit more. It, it is going to be the highest energy consumption part. Okay, but still remember, you're able to get, I don't know, you know, several programs per day, four or five. I depends on the length. Yeah, of the yeah. A lot of times, you know, we might provide like a big range of three to five or three to six, because like, like Ken mentioned, the the intensity of a set at is important, uh, makes a big difference. And then also the, the duration of the program. Some programs are 20 minutes, others are over an hour. So if you're running three programs at 100%, each over an hour long, I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna, your number, the number of programs you're able to run will definitely be less than 
uh, if you're doing something a little bit less in duration. Yeah, we get lots of questions about how many to run and how, uh, you know, how to do it, all that kind of stuff. So, all right. Um, here's another question. Uh, Marjorie's asking about any plans to include the Mag Healy uh, recommendation in Heal Advisor search results. So, uh, well, remember the Mag Healy has its own analytics, right? Um, but I don't know as far as the um, program or software development where that's going in the future. Jake, any insight? Yeah, I, I have not heard that as far as anything coming soon, but I, it's definitely, it's a great question and a great suggestion for sure to be able to, you know, when you check the box for like IMF programs or animal programs to have a Mag Healy programs there as well. So, you know, we always like to, to say, use the, the feedback feature within the app itself to, to send these suggestions and recommendations uh, since they do to go directly to our product team. But um, it's definitely something that, you know, I, I, I think we all would agree that would be a great uh, addition uh, so at some point in the future. There's just, there's just no timeline on that at this point. You know, and, and of course you can, when you do an analysis with the Heal Advisor Analyze app, you know, it does include Mag Healy content there. Um, which, you know, I guess, I mean, you still get an analysis, right? You, it, you're not able to put a particular condition in as with the, um, heel advisor search. And if you, those of you who are not familiar with the heel advisor search, I highly recommend that you take a peek at that. Make sure you've got that app on your smart device. That's the one that's here over, uh, my shoulder, the one with the wavy lines here in the background, that's the heel advisor search app. Um, that's the one in which you could put a specific keyword or search word in about a condition, and then it's going to give you, uh, the microcurrent programs or suggestions of groups of programs. So super useful, but yeah, I love this idea. Um, definitely put that out there and let's see what happens. Okay. Rita's got a question for us. Jake says, hi guys, my original Mag Healy has not worked in months. The battery says it's at 99%. The lights all work. Programs seem to load, but um, as soon as I either remove it from the charge charger or close the app, it completely turns off. Ah, so um, I've heard of this. I've heard of this a couple of times, um, you know, and using the, uh, the chat in the, um, uh, in the back office or in your shop page, that's a great one for being able to create um, create a ticket and then get some live feedback. Um, but, you know, that is a concern um, in terms of if there's a defect with it, within that Healy uh, or within that Meg Healy. Um, you know, the one thing I would start with when it comes to charging those Mag Healy's is making sure we've talked about this before is making sure that the power converter is a, a 2,500 milliamp, you know, it's a, it's a good, um, high yeah. up, yeah. right. So making sure that you're charging it completely with that, even though the lights are completely on, um, you know, I'm not sure I wouldn't be convinced that it was fully charged properly if it was, um, you know, not a, a, a good high, strong, um, adapter. And those are, Remember the little box, you know, you plug into the wall, that charger is a big, a, a beastie one, like a 2,500 milliamp or so. And so Rita says the charger is fine. The other Mag Healy has no problems charging. So you're using the same base, I'm assuming. The two yeah. different Mag Healy. So one's not working. One is working. Gotcha. Well, that's a great way of eliminating uh, some of the charging problems. I would definitely put in a ticket um, with the one that's having that charge issue. So they can get sent in, you know, as Jake said before, they take a look at those. So Ken, I just used, I just put a image into the chat here. So uh, Christian uh, from our tech support team had the great recommendation last week to enable the file sharing via the chat. So it's easier for us to share documents. Like when we reference certain things, mm -hmm. you know, we can also now include screenshots and stuff like that. So I just, I know you said the charger was fine for the other one, but I just put in the screenshot of a slide for 
last month or the, the last Healy for Beers Beyond that we did that referenced, you know, the kind of the charging tips there as well. So just I just wanted to try it out. So <laughs> love it. That's good. I like that a lot. That's great. Yeah. Um, so if you click on that image that Jake just put in there, you guys, it'll expand it up on your screen. You'll be able to see. Um, it does recommend a two amp minimum um power box adapter. I like mm -hmm. a 2500 um because as you see in the uh in the little pink box in the bottom right corner it says that the charlie the the, the mag healy battery is a 2600 milliamp battery so i like to always match the battery with the charging device whatever it is so it's a 2600 milliamp yeah. which is two that's that equates to 2.6 amps and so again a 2500 milliamp or 2.5 amp is really close to that that's what i like to do but yeah minimum is still a two amp so I love it. Great uh, feature we got there, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Susan's eye on here says that uh, still a new user. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I mean, we we want new, old, experienced, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So update uh, and a thank you for answering my question uh, for the Aura. Um, in the let's see for aura migraine manifestation doing two gold programs a day took your advice and do one a day and migraine's gone so there you go so last week was it last yeah. week yeah last week we were talking yeah. about um so uh susan was on here talking about some of the side effects you know from running the the programs or some some conditions she was having um, so she backed off a bit and, um, now that kind of helps things out. So awesome feedback. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right. Um, and so to expand that question, she's asking, is it better to rest when doing a program or can you walk around, do chores, etc.? I also read somewhere that I read somewhere that, um, you should rest after a program. Okay. So I, I have a very specific um self-care protocol and you know i do a lot of work with performance uh things like that and i know the body quite well in regards to uh, a lot of background in epigenetics and uh, some neuroscience content um we need these bodies these three-dimensional bodies these cell structures need time to acclimate to whatever energetic influence it was given and when i say energetic influence it doesn't matter if it's chemical as an energetic influence such as a meal your body transforms those tangible pieces into energy um and so meal is transferred into chemistry chemistry into energy and then the cells use all the content same thing with healy healy is nourishing your body it's giving you energy it's giving you frequency it's given information so it's good idea uh to rest or i should say when i say rest you can still be active I mean, it's not about stopping your life. Healy is designed to be a wearable, portable, personal device that um, interacts with your lifestyle, um, no matter how busy you are. So I say, again, pay attention to your body, right? If 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 what you're doing in your life um, is, is high demand, and then you add some of the Healy uh, techniques to it, it could be needing to acclimate. And that takes time. So every single body has a huge portion of that genetic code as an adaptive gene. Your body will adapt. It will change over time. So when you're new and you're just getting started, be be gentle. Um, my self-care protocol asks for you to ground after each microcurrent program or coil program or mag Healy program because they're all magnetic information into the body. Ground yourself. What's that mean? Go stand in the dirt, <laughs> walk in the grass barefoot, um, walk on the beach barefoot, get your body touching the earth. Um, and that's a good, you know, 10, 15 minutes after each program and, and separate your programs by like an hour, right? Give your body time between those programs, right? And then really, really important is to hydrate quite well, making sure you're hydrating very well. So, uh, but you can be active. Definitely, you can be active. 
Anything you want to add to that, Jake? No, no, that was great. I'm happy to hear that, you know, what we mentioned last week helped as far as slowing it down a little bit, you know, taking a little bit um, time to, to get used to using the, the Healy and the microcurrent and everything. So, yeah, sometimes it's just a matter of easing into it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Story's asking about um, can the chat show up in the replay? So um, this is why I I talk about the questions live on the show here because even you know even though maybe um, Dongni or somebody is is answering that I like to bring them on here so they are part of the recording and then they get transcribed. So um, that's as close as we can get, um, you know. But you can copy the chat. We've talked about that as a participant here. Mm -hmm. You know, you can, um, those three little dots that are there uh, in your chat uh, area, you click on those and it'll give you an option to save chat. And at the end of the call, a pop-up comes up on your screen. If you're on your laptop or your computer, um, it'll show up and you can save it to your computer. But yeah, I don't think uh, right now there's a way that Zoom lets you do that. No, not, yeah, the chat file of course is there, but there's no way to, merge it into the actual video recording uh, that we post on the YouTube. Yeah. So this is why I always try to remind you guys, save the chat. <laughs> save, save the, the chat. chat. And, you know, of course, one of the benefits to joining the call live, um, I know sometimes you, you know, not possible to catch every week, but uh, definitely one of the reasons why it's great to have people on the call live rather than just the recording. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Thank you, Dong Ni, for helping troubleshoot there. So, yeah, good information there about the battery consumption that we talked about earlier. And and there's part you know where it says that the coil um, can drain the battery faster most of the time because people have it at 100, percent right? I mean, it, it, you've got that at higher because you're not connected, right? Um, some folks are very sensitive to the microcurrent. And you can't, you know, you, you, you can't crank that up to 100%. But with the coil, you can crank it up to 100% and probably still be okay. And so that will definitely take more battery life. Okay. Um, and then also to clarify, the recommendation is for the coil, 30% to 100%, right? There's a big range there you can use yeah. that. Um, reason they want you to bring up to 30% is that that starts to build that magnetic field um, more effectively, right? Microcurrent, the higher the intensity, the more electron flow, the stronger the magnetic field. And that's how you change electron flow is by increasing the intensity. That's why you feel it, right? In your body, if you have the electrodes on. Okay, but no, you can go higher than 30%. Okay. So there was a follow-up from Dory on the, the chat. I said, not the chat, the links that you post sometimes. I save info when I'm here and wonder when I miss and listen to the replay what the links are. So, yeah, I mean, I, again, I guess... Usually, if we're if we discuss the link on the actual during the actual episode, it's usually posted in the chat as well. So I don't I don't know that there's a way to yeah to actually show the link when we're on the video itself. Other than when we're screen sharing, of course, and we we gotta go to Academy and go to this page and that kind of thing, or go to this section of our YouTube channel, that kind of thing. But as far as any sort of visual of what the link is. Yeah, are the um, are the links posted in the chat when there's a reference to uh, it? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it is posted in like the actual, the hyperlinked section too, so. Yeah, yeah, you might, yeah. That would be interesting to see. And when we talk about a link here, um, you know, on the episode, if mm -hmm. it gets put into the hyperlink in that question area or referenced yeah. or referenced in that text box. 
Yeah. You know, I remember, so Tech Tip Tuesday has been around for a bit. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Jake and, and uh, customer service, uh, you guys start supporting it, what, it's been almost two years or? I, you know, Ken, I, I, it was January. I think it might have been almost three because I think I started summer of 2021 to join these calls. So I, I think we're almost at three years since I've awesome. been wow. participating in these. Yeah, so this the the Tech Tip Tuesday got its launch a while back when uh, you know I was trying to myself and another leader in the U.S. was yeah. we're looking at a venue where we could probably put people in and just hey come and ask your questions right and um, uh, and so we didn't we we didn't even hyperlink anything we were just <laughs> at first yeah. you know we started to down the road but man that is a lot of work so I want to you know thank the corporate guys for uh, for your team Jake for hyperlinking everything so it's come a long way and i i really appreciate all the support it's great that you guys are you know putting all that together and we've got all these resources now yeah it, it helps when we got a we got a great team of course we have someone from our tech support team joining this call live every tuesday and then also um henry pena who's our onboarding specialist now and caroline bird our um customer experience specialist also are in charge of actually doing the hyperlinking and adding these to the to the YouTube channel. So it's definitely a lot easier when there's some other people to help out. I hear you when you're doing everything by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. And then, you know, as the corporate crew grows, you know, one time it was just you and Adriana, right? Yeah. Uh, but now there's a, the, the team keeps growing and the resources getting better and bigger and more elaborate. I love it. Yeah. So we've got it made now, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the good old days. Yeah. We're still, a, you know, Healy's still a new company. I mean, really, it's very new. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Marjorie says, love TTT. Thank you very much for that. I'm glad you're here. And by the way, guys, you get, you know, if there's folks out there that you, um, you know, that are struggling or ha asking you questions. How many people out there are getting questions also, right? <laughs> if you're a leader in the, in the Healy world, you're getting questions. Um, so guide them over here, bring them in. Yeah. And it's, can we, we did a, um, we did a, a sort of a training here locally. There was a, a team here just in the Orlando area that had been involved with Healy since 2020, 2021, and kind of lost, connection and we're really up to speed on everything new and we were our our team a couple of us went out there were invited to do a, a training at a clinic there and it, it was great you know we've got everybody up and running on the new apps you know they're not that new anymore but for anyone that joined in 2020 and hasn't really been anything since you know it was kind of hey we have these great new apps no one had heard of Healy Academy so we got everyone sort of involved in that no you know we have the live chat service monday through friday we have these calls we have our youtube channel like there's a lot of resources out there now for anyone uh looking to get started the new healy onboarding as well with henry that i was just talking about too so uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a great time to to be with healy and it, it, it keeps getting better so. I remember my welcome email when I would get to, uh, you know, a, a new customer in, it was like, just call me. <laughs> that was my email. <laughs> that was my whole extent of my email. Now I've got like 12 links in there and it's all kinds of great resources. <laughs> so I remember it now it's much better. Yeah. Uh, uh, got a just, great question here from, from Susan. So she, she's recorded some of the figures from the gold cycle programs have no idea what they mean. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, if you're if you're new, yeah, I would. Like, what is 440 hertz? 94 percent. Is that good or bad, or does it matter? Um, yeah. Is there a place to look that info up? So there, there's not there's not a guide uh, as far as matching frequencies with percentages. So what what you're seeing there is basically when you see the frequency 440 hertz, for example, that's the frequency that's being delivered to you at that particular moment. And then the percentages vary from negative 100 to positive 100%. So 
as you're cycling through them, you'll probably see that 440 hertz probably didn't start at 94%. When it was first being sent to you, it was probably in the, in the negative or the, the low number as well. Um, and it'll deliver it usually for around 10 seconds and it'll switch to a different frequency, switch to another frequency, then it'll loop back to that 440 hertz again. And maybe, maybe before it was 12%. And then the next time it loops back into the cycle, maybe it's now up to uh, 37%. And then it goes through it again and it increases as it goes. And basically the negative number isn't bad. It's just saying you need that frequency at that particular time. So, and as the percentages increase, it means once it gets up to a high enough level, greater than 95%, you're now resonating with that particular frequency. You no longer need it. And then it kicks it out of cycle and puts a different one into it. So the, the one you have down there, it's like the 5.5 Hertz, negative 46%. I'm sure if you were to watch, keep watching the, the app itself and see it cycle through the next time that 5.5 Hertz came up, it was probably a higher number than negative 46%. It was probably, I don't know, negative 12%. And then the next time maybe it was in the positive percentages as well till it finally reaches uh you're in resonance with that frequency uh, you no longer uh need it so yeah you're you're good and that's that's one of the unique things about the Healy device you know because everyone it's it's individualized microcurrent frequency this isn't just I run the sleep program Ken runs the sleep program it gives all of us the same frequencies Ken's needs are different than mine uh, what we need to balance um, for for the for the frequencies that are related to the sleep program uh, could be quite a bit different from one person to the next. So, mm -hmm. yeah, the the percentages are just kind of a an indicator um, of for for that one particular frequency itself. So, like as Jake said, you guys. Um, okay, so there are th three main phases to a yep. microcurrent application program, okay? The first phase is kind of getting to know you. I'll just put it simple. Um, like Jake said, if, if he and I were running the same program, um, we hit the start button at the same time and all of a sudden we started running um, each program. Let's just take one, for instance, um, the sleep program, whatever it is. Um, that program has a pool of frequencies known to help with that topic. Okay. This is over studies that Healy has done, lots of applications, many practitioners, content over a long period of time. Remember, Time Waiver is the parent company of Healy, and that's been around a while. And they've been, a, there's a lot of experience when it comes to frequencies. So each program has a resource pool of frequencies for its purpose. When you hit the start button, on one of those programs, it loads all of the possibilities into the app for that program. And then it sends all that to the Healy device, the hardware. And then the Healy device starts to interface with you. And like Jake said, when he and I are in the same program, he's a different person than I am, but we're running the same program. It's looking at my resonant frequencies, my body's condition. It's running, remember it's running uh, microcurrent, which is electron flow in my body. There's information on every single electron. There's like billions and billions of electrons going through my body with this system. And this information being collected. And then through a process of alignment, I, I mean, we can, we can get, I don't want to get too technical right now. Um, it finds the best frequencies for you. And they're going to be different between Jake and I, right? Same program but different frequencies. And so it's going to start running those through our body. And eventually those frequencies are going to start to gain traction in our body, gain resonance with our body. And that scale from negative 100% to positive 100% is how our body's reacting or in alignment or in resonance or in, um, in tune with that one frequency, one frequency. And then it gives us a scorecard. So that percentage is kind of a score, not good or bad, just how well your body's accepting. And uh, I guess filling up with that frequency. Now, 
when that one frequency gets all the way up to 100%, a little clue, you'll never see 100%, right? Yeah. <laughs> like you see one there that's 440 hertz at 94%. Probably by the time that uh, frequency comes back around in the routine that Jake was talking about, there's a cycle. When that one frequency comes back around the routine, it's not there anymore. Why? Because your body's become 100% um, in alignment with that frequency and it kicks it out of the routine. Healy doesn't give you what you don't need. So in other words, when your body gets all the way charged up, the, the that one with that one frequency, it kicks it out of the routine. It doesn't come back through the cycle again. So the first uh, about, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes, depends on the program, is that kind of that getting to know you analytic part. And then it'll start showing some percentages at the end of the frequencies it's chosen to apply to you for the duration of the program. Well, not the whole duration, but for another cycle, right? That's when you start getting those percentages. And then at the end, it's kind of a, um, well, it's much higher frequency. So it's more of an alignment. Um, uh, I like to call it the cleanup process, <laughs> but it's another, yeah. another phase of interaction with you. So, yeah. um, and then so, uh, another little quick clue yeah. here. Hang on just a second. One, sorry, Jake. One clue yeah. here also, Susan, even if you run the same program again, doesn't mean you're going to see those same frequencies either, even though it's on your body because it's you're different. It's for that moment in time that those frequencies apply. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to, to show, you know, especially since you're, since, since you're new, so if you go to uh, Healy Academy, I'm going to can't do a Tech Tip Tuesday without showing something at Healy Academy. Uh, right. This is just academy.healy.world. You log in with the same ID and password that you do to log into shop and back office and your app and all that kind of stuff. And I am, this is in the download section. So downloads, and then I sorted by manual so the product manuals basically and you'll see here manual healy app only usa it's the usa version this is also available within your app itself in the information section but it's easier to view on a computer or whatever that kind of thing like ipad because it's a it's a very long document if you click download um, it's actually going to open this up and so again, this is a, a 50, how many pages? 48 page document. So there's a lot of information in there, but since you are new, you know, maybe just start at it. This is a great reference for any of the programs, what the program groups do. But what Ken was just talking about it right here is on page six, uh, the real time mode, the three different modes, the real time mode, the resonance mode, and the selection mode or the cleanup mode as Ken likes to, to call that one there, but you'll see here in the resonance mode, what you were referring to, and we were just discussing that um, it uses the resonance analysis every 10 seconds to, term, to determine the progress of the currently applied frequency. And you see here between negative 100 to positive 100, once it reaches 95% or the maximum time, um, it basically is no longer needs that frequency and it'll, it'll switch to uh, add a different one into that cycle there yeah, and take a look there at uh 1.1.1 real-time mode so that it's talking about what i was mentioning that the the healy looks um does an analysis it from the information field and these frequencies known to be beneficial for whatever the topic of this of the program is and then finds the ones that best resonates with you in that moment so this is why uh we're talking about it picks specific programs aligned with uh, the modality or the purpose of the program then starts to apply them in the next mode, with, which is the resonance mode. And every 10 seconds, in the beginning, it's still every 10 seconds. It's looking at another frequency. It's kind of testing it out, going, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. It's finding the resonance of the user, yeah. right, with these frequencies. And then once it locks on to about six or eight, depends, then it starts to apply those over and over and over in a rotation, and that's when that scorecard starts to wind up. Each frequency gets a score of your body's resonance with that frequency. And that's that range between negative 
100 and positive 100. Uh, once it reaches up there, you know, you saw 94, it says 95 here. Sometimes you don't see 95. Yeah. Right? You, might, you might see 94 because your rate of change, in other words, your body's rate of acceptance and, and resonance with that one frequency over the time it takes for it to come back in the rotation might be faster than, you know, like the last uh, percentage you saw was 94%. That means 94% resonance. Your body's 94% Let's just call it full, like a gas gauge. You're 90, 94% full in your gas tank, right? For that one frequency, just that one. And then it goes through the rotation. And by the time it gets to that frequency again, your body's 100%. So it kicks it out. You don't even see it again. I think it's fantastic. I mean, this is like yeah. I said, I tell people all the time, Healy will not give you what you don't need. When you're done, you're done. Yeah, exactly. And you see here, until they are no longer needed by the body so yeah yeah uh, which is very cool but so yeah this this intro uh, in the product manual is definitely worth reading but this is a great reference of course anything contraindications that kind of thing too but you look at the if you're looking for more information about what each of the program groups do or the individual programs themselves too uh there's a lot of great information here like how long the program is, um, descriptions as well for pretty much everything. There's, there's a lot of information in here. So you don't need to read it all at once. Uh, but if you ever have any questions, this is a great place or resource to, to reference if you're looking for, for anything. Hey, I'll tell you what, guys, I geeked out on Healy for months when I first got it. I was, I'm an engineer. My background is I'm an electronics engineer. So I'm like, I'm geeked out on every piece. I watched these programs over and over. I wrote down all the stuff like what you're doing there. You're writing this stuff down, right? I wrote it down. I was looking for patterns. I was looking for systems and how it was working. And, and there really isn't a pattern um, mm -hmm. because because it's looking at the analysis of you in real time and you're a different version of you every second. And that's to the tune of 800,000 cells per second, your body's recreating itself. And so um, when it's doing that in real time, um, just as you, if you were to run the same gold cycle program tomorrow and, and write down all those frequencies that you're seeing with those percentages, it will be different. It'll be different. There may be some that are the same because it's the same you, but uh, a lot of them will be different. So great stuff. Yeah, Ken, while, while we're on this topic, so back to Healy Academy. So that the product manual is a great resource, but also definitely go to the section. All like these types of questions as far as what the what the frequency means and the percentage, all that kind of thing. Uh, there's some great videos here. If you go to the product section and then Healy, uh, and you go through here, there's first steps, guide for the device, installing and connecting, setting up running programs, troubleshooting, expert area, info center, the Bluetooth connection. But this, this video here, how the Healy programs work, um, is great. You'll see here in the, in the chapters, it goes through those individual sections, the real-time resonance, and selection mode. So um, I'm actually going to, let me click play here and I'm gonna pause this, but I'm gonna get the link. So for all the videos in Academy, if you once you start playing it, if you click on this little uh, arrow or paper airplane or whatever you wanna uh, <laughs> call it in the top right corner, if you click on it, you can share it to Facebook, uh, the social media, uh, email or you can just copy the link so i'm just going to copy this link address and then i'm going to come back over in the chat here and then oh, let's see here uh, and then you'll be able to if you want to just click on that link or save it or copy it and, and check it later that's a direct link to the, the Vimeo video. You don't even have to log in to, to watch that one there via if you use that link. So definitely one um, to to watch, you know, one at a time is convenient for you. Yeah. 
A lot of great okay. content. So, um, you know, since we were talking about, let's see here, Rita's got something. Um, let's see. So has Healy discontinued or stopped supporting the watch? Great question. We did, Jake did cover this on one of the uh, What's Up Wednesday calls. Um, they have, you see, we have one that's never been activated. How do we activate it or download the programs? You want to talk about that, Jake? Sure, yeah. So the the watch itself, well, we stopped selling that in the North American markets uh, back in beginning of April. So it's been several months now. And it was actually no longer available in any of the global markets either as of um, earlier this month, too. So you know, the watch was launched, well, I think it was launched in, wasn't it 2019 or 2020? I think. Yeah, it um, was early. 2019. Yeah, but there, you know, there's, it was, it's never really been the a main focus for Healy. Uh, it's, and it's kind of, there's a, so many new things that have come out since then, the coil and the Mac Healy and the different modules uh, and as well. And we're kind of focusing all of our resources going forward on some of these, our core product line, essentially. So as far as supporting it, if you still, if you have a watch, uh, if it's, still under warranty, that kind of thing. We'll still support it for the time being. But for anyone that had the watch programs, like the watch connector module, that kind of thing, uh, those are, if you had them or you still have them, there, there's no plans to, to take them away from you or anything like that. Um, for, we converted anybody that was paying for the, the watch connector module subscription. Uh, we just canceled the subscription and gave it to everybody for free for life that already had it. So, you know, that's that's kind of the, the situation there. But as far as activating it, I mean, you can you can try charging it up and, and connecting it. Um, but, yeah, there's long term, there's not going to be updates to like the watch app or anything like that um, at this point. So. so the watch itself, guys, when you charge up the watch and start the watch, it's going to interface with your uh, your smartphone, just like any other smartwatch. Um, the uniqueness of the Healy watch was the connector app, right? That was the more unique part of it. It had, there was a subscription to the connection app and that connection app then would interface with your biorhythmic um, content and then help advise. It didn't send frequencies. It did not apply frequencies. It just would help as part of an advisor tool. Okay. So if you have a Healy watch, it still works as a smartwatch. It'll show you your messages coming in. It'll still take your biorhythmic content. Um, in fact, I think um, I haven't tried it. Actually, the app itself should still show your heart rate and such. Um, yep. it, it, it's, it's where you, it's with that Healy Watch Connect app where the connection to Healy actually came. So you got a Healy watch. It says Healy on it. Till, still tells the time, still does a uh, interfaces with your smart device. So it'll still work in that regard. Okay. Um, oh, and by the way, I, I did want to tell, uh, was it Susan? Um you know, when you're sitting there watching your screen and you're watching those frequencies and the percentages um, increment, uh, remember those percentages can go down <laughs> just as well as they can go up, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. Your your body can, um, you know, I mean, there can be things going on in your mind, in your environment, in your stress levels that will, uh, that will deter resonance with frequencies as well. So uh, so don't be surprised if you see, you know, like you've got one there was like 94% and then the next rotation might've been 92, right? <laughs> so that can happen too. All right. Um, next question. Yeah, I'm trying, there's this question earlier from Dory said, I'm trying to figure out what the, I ran a program that told me some exercises to do. Oh, do you know, a program that is not not a program but the heel advisor used to do you know would do but not 
Yeah. So I'm wondering, was the if, is this because the Healy demo experience that seven day guided journey? Maybe I don't know. If that's what you're referring to, but if you put if you enable the demo mode in the Heal Advisor app for your Healy device, and then if you log out of the Heal Advisor app and then go to log back in, it'll ask you, do you have a Healy device or do you want to start the demo experience? You can actually go through that seven day guided journey and it'll recommend one program per day and it will give you an exercise to do, whether it's a breathing exercise or a mobility or sort of that kind of thing. So maybe that's what you're possibly referring to. We we launched that, I think it was maybe September, October last year, something like that. Uh, we did a training on it as well. So, but yeah, that's a that's a cool thing to do if you you know want to loan your if an extra Healy want to loan it to somebody that's interested in possibly buying one. It'll guide them through. It gives them basically a program to run each day. It shows them a short video. Uh, it gives them an activity to do, whether it's a breathing exercise or some sort of other exercise, and then it also has a short survey at the end of each day. And then at the end, uh, basically, it gives them a summary. Uh, a, a survey to sum up their whole experience. Then it takes them to the Healy shop, and you know, kind of helps them pick the which edition might be best for them. Um. So now, uh, I don't know. I have not gone into um, the new advisor search app. Uh, let's see. Um. I know that there is a digital nutrition. There is a shopping list it creates for you. Hmm. As far as exercises, I'm not sure where those are. Yeah. Um. Try, George, try, try logging out of your Heal Advisor app. Not not the Analyze app, just the the one where the search module is. Log out, and then when you come back to that main screen, I think you'll you'll be able to find maybe the the demo experience that we were talking about okay um so here's a question it says in the past you've discussed running more than one healy at a time how do you know which app uh should be run first or running both at the same time so um so i have talked about that this is some of my my own protocols. Um, in fact, I did talk about a little bit of this uh, in Mexico uh, from the, on the panel. Yeah. About, um, multi devices or multi Healy's or Mag Healy and Healy um, in duets and trifectas, even four at a time. <clears throat> but this is, um, there's not a lot of data or content from Healy specific about this, not from corporate. These are some things that, um, that the field and as practitioners or coaches were doing. And that is to look for various programs that we can apply that are synergistic. In other words, uh, because we have three real main modes of, well, there's four, but I talk about three tangible modes of application. One is the coil, right? From the Healy itself. The other is the microcurrent from the Healy itself. And the third is the mag Healy with magnetic interface from the mag Healy, right? So there's kind of those three. Of course, we can go to the fourth, which is the um, the Analyze app that sends it to your bioenergetic field. Um, but let's just stick with the three. And uh, so you can actually run three programs, right? Three different devices. So say one mag Healy and two Healy's uh, and running different programs that are synergistic. And when I say synergistic, we have to think about what's beneficial in combination, okay? So um, I use this example all the time from the fitness page. Um, you have on the fitness page, you have a muscle program and you have a strength program. So think about this. Um, if you are running the muscle program with microcurrent and you've got microcurrent going through your body, running muscle, uh, you're increasing ATP, you're increasing amino acid transport, protein synthesis within the muscle structure cells, okay? Then if you're running the coil simultaneously with say the strength program, now you're running magnetic information into the body to build strong cells, right? So what kind of cells? 
Well, the microcurrent's promoting the muscle and the magnetic signal's promoting the strength. So now you're combining those in a tangible duet, right? To build uh, a different um, energetic signal or um, genetic coding influence. I love to use that. And then if you add the Magheli, you can do, like you can charge your water up prior to that whole experience, right? So now you're ingesting water that has uh, specific frequencies for it. Um, but there's a lot of ways you can do this uh, duets or even trifectas of devices and programs that are synergistic. You are kind of the experiment, okay? So you could look at these lists of programs and think about what makes sense to you, <clears throat> okay? Okay. So Dory's coming back with some more instruction that the app gave. Um, that does sound like the demo experience. Told me to stretch my arm over my head um, to each side and then run circles on my stomach. So, so my yeah, Cam, it, it, it does. I'm also wondering, uh, could, could this be in the bioenergetic vitalization module? Oh. In the heal advisor app, because I, I, you know, I was just, I'm not gonna. We only have a few minutes left, so I'm not gonna log in on the phone. But if you, if you look at, for example, um, here, just there's this daily vitalization sort of here, and if you click start, um, you can pick exercise, lifestyle, and then nutrition. So maybe, maybe it was one of these. Um, there's physical activity. Um, tips here, if you go to lifestyle, there's breathing exercises, activate parasympathetic nervous system as well, and it gives a whole bunch of tips um, as far as how to sit and breathe and wash your face, take a walk. Maybe, maybe it was something in, in that section there. So yeah, if you go to your, if you have this, in the Heal Advisor app, bioenergetic vitalization, and then just go to it's called your daily vitalization. Maybe that was possibly, oh, it was the result of a scan. So I, I, at this point, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not trying to think, I don't, I don't think I've ever had a scan that told me to do those particular things, but I haven't run every single program at Healy. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like it was one of the database recommendations probably. Yeah. Um, and there are so many. Yeah. Uh, and when you do a scan, now what you can do, if you did a scan and that result was up from a scan, you can go back to your history um, of your scans and you can take a look at those again. And it will show you from what database that came. So uh, go back into your uh, Heal Advisor um, Analyze account. And um, take a look at um, like you as a client and your history, and you'll be able to see that. Okay, I would I would be interested in knowing what that was too. Um, I'm sure it was one of those databases. <laughs> okay, uh, so here's a little follow up on that multi Healy in reference to multi Healy app. Um, what techniques is our best? All wires, all coil, or um, of course, Magheli. So, you know, how does your body respond? I my body loves the microcurrent. I just, you know, it, it's like I don't know. It's a microcurrent junkie, um, and it it it, may, it could be placebo effect too. My own belief structure saying that it's amplifying, but it doesn't matter. Um, our bodies heal based on our belief structures just as much as they do the implementation of what we're getting. So um, play with it. Um, when we are looking at what these modalities do, microcurrent increases ATP production by up to 500%. That's just study material you can find anywhere. Increases amino acid transport. Uh, by up to 40% in protein synthesis by 70. So these are things you can just find um, 
based on microcurrent applications. And that's why Healy uses microcurrent. Makes sense, right? Very, very useful for biological improvements. Okay. So if our goal is to build muscle, let's, you got to look at what your goal is. I, whenever I'm coaching someone, I start with what do you want? What's your goal? We have to start at that goal and then find the pieces that feed that goal. Only the pieces that feed that goal. So if your goal is muscle, then again, like I found it very effective to run microcurrent for muscle and magnetic energy for signaling what kind of muscle. And then, in other words, strength, so strong muscle or uh, endurance, right? I can have a, a muscle that is um, that is uh, has a long span. And then I can also run recovery protocols through magnetic energy uh, during my cool down phase. So um, play with it. You can do, there's not really a rule that says one's more effective than the other because there's just too much experimentation going on. So uh, I like to look at it this way. If I was to set the tone for my environment, Right. Whether I'm working out, whether I'm meditating, whether I am um, listening to music, whatever. If I want to set the tone for the environment, the mag Healy is great for that. Right. Set the tone. Your atmosphere programs are great for setting the tone of your environment. If you want to set the tangible matter, the material cell structures, then the microcurrent is really good for that. If you want to influence that structure com combination, that genetic coding, then the coil is great for that. Okay, so all of them do a little of each, but I just look at it from, you know, in from the outside looking into the small, from the big to the small environment down to the genetic codes. Okay. Okay, just a few minutes left here. So I just wanted to take the last couple of minutes to talk about our Healy for Beginners and Beyond that we have coming up uh, on Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. I just put into the chat uh, the the invite here. There's a the link to register is healyfbb.com. And there's also the QR code there. And I'm actually going to share my screen. I'm going to show you a little bit of a sneak peek into the more detailed uh, agenda here. So, you know, for those of you that are Tech Tip Tuesday regulars, we've probably seen us cover some of these things over the, the last few years, but we're going to go, there's been a, you know, a lot of the questions, whether they're coming in on some of the social media channels or through our support team, uh, as well, some of the trending topics, some of the, the most frequently asked questions. So we'll just do a quick overview at the beginning of the differences between vibrating programs versus using uh, the cables or the coil. And Ken, you just talked about a lot of this there with you know the, the benefits of the microcurrent as well uh, that you're getting when you're incorporating um, everything there. Uh, but then also some of the, 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 especially if you're newer, some of the questions people have as far as, well, why can't I just run an analysis three times in a row until I get the, res the result that I want or something like that, uh, about why that's not a good idea uh, if you're looking for quality results. You know, we'll, we'll show, uh, you know, just the general guide on uh, if you're looking to, uh, information on how to vibrate the programs or for how long, where you can go to get that information as well. One of, can, one of the other frequently asked questions we get here, even on Tech Tip Tuesday, sometimes programs pop up that they don't match necessarily your gender or a female gets a recommendation for a prostate program or uh, I get a program recommendation for a mature woman or something like that. Uh, and, you know, we're going to we're going to talk just a little bit about why that's it's not a bad thing um, as well. If you're getting that, nothing to be concerned about, uh, of course. Um, and then also a little bit about remote analysis, you know, why this is possible and why you, you still get great results, even if you can't record that person's vibration in person with them holding the Healy device as well. 
Um, and then also just a couple other questions you see here related to running an analysis for the chakra databases in the resonance module versus a separate uh, aura analysis that also, of course, involves the chakras there as well. And then, you know, what, what you're supposed to be doing when you're vibrating programs. You know, do you need to be by your phone and the device? Can you walk away? Do you need to be focused 100% the entire time? So just, it's going to be kind of a, a casual discussion here. We're going to go through a lot of the these questions and uh, we'll have, of course, actually Domni will be there helping us out in the chat uh, as well on Thursday. So uh, she'll be able to assist also. But we're looking forward to covering some of these frequently asked questions and guiding everyone through some of these. It's going to be fun. Make sure you guys join us and then invite everybody. Yep. Um, one last little thing piece here. So Dory's asking, why do I have to keep signing into the Heal Advisor? Um, you're talking about the search or the analysis. Um, you shouldn't have to um, make sure that everything's updated, all your software. Are you... Yeah. Yeah, that's my advice for sure. Uh, make sure other apps are closed in the background. Um, you know, yeah, unless... shouldn't have to. And then you can always, you know, just delete and reinstall, and maybe start fresh on yeah. that as well. Something, something's different with your your smart device as well with the app. Yeah, awesome. Okay, guys, remember what I said. Click on those three little dots if you want to save the chat. Those links that are in there and things that are awesome for you guys um save that chat in there uh thank you Dongni. thank you jake appreciate you guys for being here um definitely like i said invite your friends to the uh heated for greaters and beyond tomorrow what's oh up? yes what's up wednesday tomorrow and actually mark whitman is going to be on the call talking about the the water application for mag healy so definitely want to uh, catch that as well for any of you that have a Mag Healy or are maybe considering purchasing one. There you go. Don't miss it, guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, have a great night. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Dongni. See you guys. Click on that. Thanks, everyone. Tool. All right, here we go.